everyone, it's me, Teresa from HealthyVeganLife.com and welcome to another What I Eat in a Day. Uh, this morning I'm going to be making a green smoothie because I've been trying to get more uh, greens and fruits in to my diet and a green smoothie is the easiest way to do that really. So uh, yeah, let's go make one. guys look at all this and I have more still it's quite a lot I don't know if I'll be able to finish it maybe I'll finish part of it now and the rest later so it's good I'm trying to work my way up and have more and more greens um, but obviously the greens make it less sweet and I do have a sweet tooth um, but by adding up more and more greens into my green smoothie, I am just, you know, getting myself used to it. With this smoothie, I'm going to have my supplement, my B12, focus, 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 there we go, my B12, suitable for vegans, and my vegan vitamin D, and there you have it. By the way, I've discovered that the best and also the cheapest frozen fruits can be found at Aldi's. They've got strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, pineapple, mango. I think they've got mixes of stuff too. They've got blackberries, they've got cherries, they've got loads. Um, and they're really reasonably, reasonably priced as well. For 400 grams of frozen fruit, you pay like one pound 50, which I think is cheaper than anywhere else as far as I've seen the only thing is that for me Aldi is quite a far walk it's 20 minutes and I we don't have a car so I you know have to walk everywhere you know and Tesco is like 10 minutes so I usually go to Tesco and so, sometimes for special things I go to Waitrose but they're expensive as heck so you know they're also 10 minutes away so anyway I'm just going to have my smoothie now and I'll see you guys in a little bit Right, you guys, it is the afternoon now, and I just heated up some curry from yesterday. Um, it has red lentils, onion, garlic, ginger, a whole bunch of spices, and spinach, tomato, like a tin of canned tomato, and coconut milk, and did I add anything else? Veggie broth. I think that's it. It's very tasty, and I've got some brown jasmine rice and a salad, very simple salad with spinach and I'm looking forward to eating this. As a snack I had some prunes, some dried prunes because they're very tasty. I could easily, you guys are so addictive so I, you know I just, I try to control myself <laughs> because I could easily finish a whole bag in one go because they're so good. Anyway, I'm just going to enjoy my lunch and I'll see you later. Um, I just made dinner. It's seven o'clock now. Um, it's a bit of a weird day because I started eating so late so all my meals are a bit later than usual. I made a veggie lentil soup. There it is. Um, so it's got green lentils, potatoes. I use them um, Charlotte potatoes because I just recently discovered them from um, Tesco and they're so um, well, I didn't discover them recently. Um, I've been using them for a couple of months and they're just really nice. They've got a really nice consistency. Um, and then I've got carrots and onion and garlic, of course, peas, some broccoli. Um, and then I put some Italian, mixed Italian herbs in it and some vegan um, veggie broth stock, puree stuff. And uh, it tastes really good. I love lentil soup, you guys. It's so comforting. 
I'm making some pita bread with um, avocado meshed on it and nooch for um, Andy. But I don't think, I was going to make some crackers because I've been wanting to show you guys this. I discovered these crackers recently, Fin Crisp. And these taste exactly like the kind of crackers that I used to eat in the Netherlands um, from a brand called Vasa. They've got these whole rye crackers that are really thick and crunchy and they're just so good. I haven't been able to find them here so I've been eating rye vita crackers but they're thin and they're not as crunchy and like hard but these are. These are absolutely perfect. I found them in Waitrose and they're just so good you guys. It's just whole grey rye flour, water, yeast, salt and moths fire um yeah and i like to put avocado on it with some tomato and nooch and a bit of you know salt and garlic powder it's really nice so i was going to make this but i'm not sure i need it because i'm not feeling overly hungry and also i need to take this space because i made some brownies i'll show you them i usually save brownies for special occasions but last weekend I made a whole bunch of brownies for people that were coming over but then uh, we ran out so I only had a little bit and I was still, you know, wanting a bit more brownie goodness. So I made some more. It looks more like a chocolate cake because I put it in this um, but it's, oh, it's really good. It's not particularly healthy. It's got a lot of um, sugar in it. No oil but it does have sugar. So um, yeah, it'll just be a treat. Uh, Andy loves this stuff as well. The secret ingredient is silken tofu. Makes it really like soft and gooey without being oily and too heavy. So it's really nice. It doesn't look doesn't look very attractive here, does it? Mm, maybe we can take a nice picture of it to do it more justice because it does taste amazing. Okay, well that's it for today. I'll see you later. Have a good weekend. By the time I post this, it will be Friday. So have a good weekend and I'll see you soon. Bye.